the given equation given equation means that given polynomial so simply here in this i'm just replacing all the x with here minus 3 to so f minus 3 minus 3 cube minus 3 into minus 3 square and 4 and the value of the x i written here minus 3 and plus 50 now minus 3 cube 3 times power is odd so we have to put the minus sign 3 cube 27 now minus 3 square so we can write here 9 and here outside minus 3 4 into minus 3 minus 12 and here 50 now again minus 27 written 3 into 9 minus 27 minus 12 and plus 50 now minus 27 minus 27 and minus 12 after adding we have got here minus 66 and here 50 and solving this we have got here 16 so you can see using the remainder theorem we have got the same remainder as we have got the remainder after using the long term division method so if in the question it has been said find the remainder by using the remainder theorem you have to solve like this one okay one more example i am telling find the remainder when the polynomial this one is going to divided by 2x minus 1 the same thing again we are going to do from the remainder theorem fx equal to this one G we have assumed the divisor as a gx gx equals to 2x minus 1 so gx equal to we have to equate to the 0 find the value of the x so 2x minus 1 equal to 0 1 has gone that side that has become plus 1 2 in the multiple form gone this side division form so we have taken out the value of the x equal to 1 by 2 the put value of the x by 2 in the given polynomial replace all the x with the 1 by 2 so here f the value of the x i have written here 1 by 2 4 into 1 by 2 cube minus 12 into 1 by 2 square plus 14 into 1 by 2 minus 3 okay so 1 by 2 cube the so 1 ka cube 1 and 2 cube is 8 and minus 12 1 by 2 square 1 square 1 2 square 4 and 14 into 1 by 2 into 3 now 4 2 is a 8 so we can write here 1 by 2 now 4 3 is a 12 so we can write here 3 denominator is nothing we can write ourselves only 1 and 7 2 is a 14 uh, so we have just cut it with the 7 times so 7 denominator is nothing we can write here 1 and only remainder is, and this side only 3 was left now take the LCM of these all so 2 and 1 LCM is 2 now 2 1 is a 2 that's why only 1 now 2 multiply with the 3 minus 6 2 multiply with the 7 plus 14 2 multiply with the minus 3 minus 6 now minus 6 and minus 6 minus 12 14 and 1 15 and denominator is 2 so 15 minus 12 is 2 so 15 minus 12 is 3 and 2 so when so we have got here remainder 3 by 2 so it simply means that okay, when this polynomial is going to divided by this polynomial we have got the remainder as 3 by 2 so once again i'm going to tell you the simple concept is that okay, always just equate the gx with 0 and find out the value of the x and whatever the value of the x you have got just put in the given polynomial and solve it you will get the value of the remainder i hope you understood now one very important thing i am going to tell you that um, one there is one limitation of this remainder theorem one limitation of the remainder theorem is that ki in the case of the remainder theorem the degree of the divisor will be always one if the degree of the divisor is more than one then we cannot use the same formula suppose one example i am telling you suppose is x to the power 4 plus 2x cube plus 4x plus 5 so if i wanted to find the remainder of this polynomial when it is going to be divided by x minus 4 so if I'm if I wanted to use the remainder theorem, so I will just simply equate with the zero. So x equals to four. Take the root both side. So x is equals to plus minus two. So here you will see that we have got two values of the x. If you are going to put here plus two, you will get something else. If you are going to put minus two, you will get something else. So you cannot use remainder theorem here. We if you wanted to find the remainder, you have to go for the long term division. So remainder theorem is only valid, only valid if the degree of the divisor is only one. If more than one, we cannot use the remainder theorem. I hope you have understood the concept. Remainder theorem is karna kya hai? Divide jubi upka divisor hai, usko zero se equate karo. Wahase zero se equate karo x ka value nikalo aur jo bhi x ka value hai usko us polynomial mein rakh ke pura solve karo jo bhi answer aayega wahi uska remainder hoga thank you very much